It's hard to believe, but this windswept patch of desert was once the site of not only Utah's, but perhaps the world's largest volcanic eruption. About 6,000 cubic kilometers of magma erupted in a catastrophic event 30 million years ago. And it turns out it's one of the largest super eruptions that we are aware of in the world, of any age, anywhere. Right now, we're sitting in the middle of this caldera that's right here on the Nevada Utah border. And from north to south, that's about uh, 30 miles. The largest eruptions on Earth have been called supervolcanoes. And in order to be a supervolcano, it has to be over a thousand cubic kilometers in mass. So, for comparison, the eruption of Mount St. Helens that occurred in 1980 emitted one cubic kilometer of volcanic material. The eruption we're looking at here erupted 6,000 times that amount of material. Most people, when they think of a volcano, think of a conical edifice with a single vent. Supervolcanoes, they don't stand as high cones. Instead, they form large holes in the ground. At the heart of a supervolcano is a large collapse. As a supervolcano forms, a massive pool of magma builds up and domes the surface. Eventually, the roof breaks, starting a huge eruption and emptying the magma chamber to form a bowl-shaped depression a few miles deep. The hot magma erupts violently as clouds of ash and ground-hugging pyroclastic flows rapidly spread hundreds of miles across the landscape and fill the newly formed caldera. The ash would have cut out the sun and it would have been total darkness. This would have been a catastrophic event. It took many, many years for us to fully realize that we have a supervolcano here in western Utah. And it took so long because remnants of this caldera were found in five mountain ranges. For years, we'd been looking for the source of this very widespread pyroclastic deposit. It's so old that it's been completely eroded, completely obliterated. So the only way that we know that it is here is by looking at the rocks. In these 250 drawers, there are thousands of rock samples that were collected over about a 30-year period with the help of hundreds of students. The basis of all our work, of course, is, is in the field. But a lot of the time is actually spent in the lab. Uh, many hours are spent at a microscope trying to find out the details of the minerals. Many other hours are spent with analytical instruments to find out the composition of the grains and of the rocks. As we accumulated the data and verified the aerial extent of the Wawa Springs, we found that indeed it was a super eruption from a supervolcano. In the news, you may have heard of other supervolcanoes. Some of them are still active and still churning away. Uh, the Yellowstone caldera is a supervolcano, and it's still an active system. If this is one of Earth's largest supervolcanoes, do the people in western Utah need to worry about an eruption here as well? And the answer is no. The tectonic setting is different. The caldera has been ripped apart. This volcano erupted 30 million years ago. And there's no threat of that style of a large super eruption here in western Utah today. One of the things that geologists are always trying to piece together is the history of the Earth. And the history of the Earth has been punctuated by catastrophic events. Identifying one of those that occurred here in western Utah will help us piece together this long chain of events that are part of Earth's history. <laughs>